Hi, today we are going to talk about creating one library that can work with Clojure and Clojure Script. These two are basically implementations over the same language, but targeting different platforms, JVM and JavaScript respectively. So there is a high chance that if you wrote some code, most of it will work fine for Clojure and Clojure Script, but part of it will be host dependent. So here's our VS code. Let's create library project structure. Depsidian can contain an empty map for now. And in the logger CLG, we are going to import closure preprint namespace. We are going to use it to format the message we are going to print. We'll have a timestamp function. This function returns a current time appropriately formatted. And actually, this is a function that uses a host dependent code. As you can see, it actively uses Java classes. Next, we need the log function itself. Here we will use a function from print namespace. This is the formatting function and its first argument specifies where to put the output of the function. We will put true, that means print it to default output. Next argument is the actual format. So our formatted string output of our logger will contain a timestamp host from which the code was invoked, closure in current case, uh, because we are not yet uh, modified that library to, for closure script, and actually the object that user passed to the log function. Now we need to add arguments for this format string. First, this is timestamp. Next is closure. And the last one is our argument. Okay, we have a library now. And now we need to use it from some closure application. Let's create a very simple one. We will call it CLG app. Let's open DevCDN of our new application, and we need to put here reference of our new library. Here we use a local root key that says that we are going to use the library from local file system. By the way, on the channel, I have another video that shows all the ways how to use library from local file system, from Git, how to publish to closures. So please go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Now let's go to Core G. Here we will import our library. And in the main function, we are going to use it. Here we just call logger three times with different arguments. Let's run it and see how it works. Nice, we have our output and it is formatted. So we have a timestamp, we have a host, and we have an object printed. Now, when we are know that our closure library is working, Let's go to the fun part and let's change it to make it suitable for Clojure Script also. And to do this, we need to discuss the so-called Reader. Reader is a part of Clojure Toolbox. It takes a textual representation of code and turns it into Clojure data structures. When you compile Clojure code, it is a Reader will be responsible for taking the source code and turning it into Clojure data structures that compiler can work on. And Reader supports so-called Reader conditionals, there are specific forms that allow you to select one or another part of code depending on what platform you are working on. The first reader conditional is called standard one. It looks like this. You start with a hash and question mark. When the reader encounters such conditional in code, it takes one expression or another one, depending on what platform it is. Closure script or CLG. You can also have a default clause. As an example, if you have conditional like this, then reader, when it reads, it will leave only the expression if you are on the closure platform or if you are on a closure script platform. And there is another reader conditional called splicing conditional. Here how it looks. It is a bit different in its logic. When reader encounters this splicing conditional, it selects the appropriate host and takes the content of vectors that we specified and put it into the surrounding expression. It's very important that it doesn't take the vector itself, only its content. So here's an example. If we have, let's say, print function with a splicing conditional in it, then on closure script platform, 
that statement processed by reader will look like on closure platform that will look like print one two so you can see it wasn't the vector that was taken and put into surrounding context only its content an important note here is that reader conditionals doesn't work in usual clg or clgs files you need to put your code with reader conditionals into clgc files then closure conditionals will be taken into account they will work and Clojure and Clojure Script Compiler understand this extension of files. Now, when we know about reader conditionals, let's go to changing our logger library to be suitable for Clojure Script. By the way, did you know that when you are subscribing to the channel while watching the YouTube video, YouTube thinks that you are watching very nice content and starts to show it to more users. So if you think you are watching the helpful content, if you want to help it spread, you know what to do. We'll remove all this. First, we need to rename our logger CLG because it's not CLGC yet, but now it is. Second, we have a host specific part of code. It is particularly works for closure. So we need to wrap it in a reader conditional. And for closure script, we have a similar piece of code that works with JavaScript internals. It also takes current date and format it appropriately. As you noticed, here we use the standard reader conditional. We have another place that is host dependent, this argument. We need it to be closure or closure script, and it is within the function, and it is not an expression, so we can use a splicing conditional here. Like this. Okay, we changed the code, but we need to check that it still works with our closure application. Let's run it again. Nice, it works. And now we can create a simple closure script application to check that it also works with closure script. It will be very similar to our CLG app, but it will be CLGS app. Folder structure is already in depth EDN. We need to reference a closure script and our library. Here's a closure script, and here is our library. Content of the core CLGS will be very similar to what we have in core CLG of CLG app. We just require a logger and invoke in log function to print something to console. So now let's run the main function. So as you can see, it works fine. It printed our logs. It successfully invoked the JavaScript specific code and printed the correct closure script host name. So we can say that our log library successfully works for closure and closure script. Perfect. Complete code is on the GitHub and I will put the link in the description. If you did like this video, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it and donate. Half of your donations will go to humanitarian aid for Ukraine, my country. And another half I will use to make new educational videos for you. See you. Thank you for watching.